This quick tip is all around this piece of equipment, which I have another video on. This is the BGC 2.2 based GoPro gimbal that I have underneath my hexcopter. It's a cheap and cheerful entry level gimbal with an older 8-bit controller on it, but it allows you to play with gimbals without lashing out hundreds of pounds or dollars on the high-end gimbals. Now I've been using this for a little while and I've had a subscriber or two ask me about a particular problem with it where rather than the gimbal coming back and managing the camera looking straight forward all the time whenever it was initialized it always seemed to be on a tilt either left right or looking up and down. And that's something that can be sorted quite easily so in this quick tip we'll look at why that's happening and how you can fix it. If anything we cover in this video isn't making sense, then please go back and watch my first video on this gimbal where I set it up, downloaded the drivers, downloaded the graphical user interface to configure it, and you'll be able to follow the rest of what we're going to cover in the next couple of minutes. So what you do is you connect your gimbal back up to the PC, and once it's connected, you go into the menu button tab in the software. And in there you'll notice that you can assign actions to the button that's on the controller itself. And by default, or the one that came in mine anyway, one click was calibrate the accelerometers, uh, two clicks was calibrate the gyro, and three clicks was the set tilt angle by hands. And that's the one that we want to use to correct any deviation from level or if, in my case, this is how I use it, I always have my GoPro tilted very slightly down. So I fly on the hexcopter looking out of a camera mounted to the frame, and the GoPro's job is to point down to the ground to get great shots of what it's flying over. So I actually have mine tilted down by about 20 degrees, which makes sure that it's looking mostly at the ground and also helps with exposure as well, so it doesn't expose for the sky too much. So anyway, so you need to make sure that when you're looking at this on your gimbal, that one of the actions that are assigned to the menu button is that set tilt angles by hands. Make a note of how many clicks that you're looking at and then disconnect the gimbal and then we're going to power it up, click that button that number of times and what will happen, the gimbal is going to go floppy. It will allow us to manually set the tilt angles that we want the gimbal to maintain. Hold that for a couple of seconds and then the gimbal will power back up and then maintain that tilt automatically. So now we've done that, let's go onto the craft and I'll actually demo it for real. So here's the gimbal on the actual craft. Um, you can see it's pointing slightly down, that's the way I fly it. And as I move the hexcopter, you'll see that it's stabilized and it's staying level and on that slightly downward tilt. So let's um, correct that and put it looking straight forward. So the first thing you have to do is find this little button on the side and that can be uh, a little bit tricky. So you need to feel for it with your fingertip. Once you find it, you need to press it three times. One, two, three and once you've done that the gimbal goes floppy and you can manually set the position by hand hold the position you want then the gimbal fires back up and then we'll maintain that position for the camera so thanks for watching hopefully that helps those of you who are stuck with this with this gimbal please like subscribe and happy flying